But they yeah, dilemma time. Okay. We've got dilemma time. You know, some people are really stressing, you know. So we got to help them out, you get me? So put on your capes. You know, we've got people to save, you know. You see me? But yeah. So this is from a woman. She ain't put her name on nothing. I wouldn't need... <laughs> say no, it's serious. I wouldn't <laughs> <laughs> She's like, guys, change nothing about this podcast. This is... This is this is my favorite podcast at the moment. Keep it up. Mm. Go on. That's nice. Love that. Yeah. So she goes, I was in a five years, five year relationship with my ex. We have a child age three together who will do anything for. The relationship seemed great. Majority of the time, average normal relationship with its ups and downs as you have them. But I believe it only really became seesaw after my son was born. Obviously, responsibilities hit big time. Both wasn't ready, so moods became up and down for the both of us. Nonetheless, every issue was mine. Now, literally half a day arguing, maybe sometimes a day not talking, but everything will be good again after a meal and sex and grown adult reasoning. We broke up a year ago. <laughs> why, is she, why is she dropping it like that? But yeah, after he cheated on me with my cousin and dosed me, why are you? Mad, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I was saying, um, I call it a perfect cheat for this case because I had no clue when, how, where till mm. this day when he had a chance to do this as I believed I was with him there enough every day. I refused to hear the ins and outs of what went on with them. At the end of end result of it, she got pregnant. Raw which caused a big feud in the family. However, I met him last week to see his son because I'm not a believer of punishing men by not allowing them to see their kids. That day I found out he has cancer and he randomly proposed to me. I didn't answer the question and every day since then he keeps asking me to marry him. He non-stop apologises for breaking my heart and says to me he can't die knowing that he hasn't got me by his side. What do I do? I can't forgive him for the trauma he put me through. I never pictured raising my son in a broken home, but seeing my cousin's daughter, brackets his daughter, brings back the hate I have for him. But I feel in this situation, I don't want to just be there for him because I only feel sorry for him. I can't love him like before. Please don't make jokes. This is important to me. Mm. <sighs> so let's digress the thing now. So boom, she's in a re she was in a relationship. He's done dirt. He's trash. He has a kid with her cousin. Jeez. He's obviously found out he's ill. Now he wants her back. He's marrying, giving the sob story, and she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know if she should be with him for to help him and for the son's sake or just leave her out. Why should every time she sees that other child, it brings back the hate? I think, from my opinion, it's a very, very difficult situation. It's mad, isn't it? But you've, you've kind of got to do what's in your best interest for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to project that kind of energy onto your child either. But then I also think it's you the type of person that you've got to be in this world is one that if it was your last day would you say like okay I, I did well in that kind of sense so where he's got cancer I think she should you know put all her kind of like hatred and, ev and everything to bed in the sense that just make your peace and I'm speaking from this from you know experience or friends that have been in a very similar situation mm. make your peace because when that person's gone you just want to know that you did everything in your power to you know i'm not condoning anything that he's done in that kind of sense but you don't want to walk through life knowing have you, that you have a regret yeah in that kind of sense but that is a very difficult situation it is mm. me i'm raw i would say don't even worry about him because you made his bed. So you for lying it really. The father of her son. Yeah, I know. Mm. That's why That's it's even it. deep. Mm. But he's what done wrong. Deep, 
It's not deep, isn't it? It's not that deep. I don't think. Sorry. Like, I think you've got to compartmentalise everything because you're trying to deal with everything in one go. Like, it's all one thing. He's the father of your son. You've decided I'm not going to stand in the way of you seeing your son. That's over there then, isn't it? You've decided to to sleep with... Or he's decided to sleep with her cousin. Where was he thinking about his son when he was doing that? Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't mix up the two. That's something to the side. For me, isn't it? That's something to the side. Like, I just, the only thing that I would really say to, to her. And why is, is it that it takes something serious like that for you to remember how good of a woman, woman she, was, she yeah. was? You get me? Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, why I'm not really too, really thing. feeling too sorry for him, if I'm, I'm honest. It's a pity thing. He's feeling sorry for himself. Mm. And he's gravitating back. He knows he's done wrong. It's all about him. This situation sounds like 100%. it's all about him. 100%. He's not even taking into consideration the fact that he hurt her and what he did. Mm, and mm. Now she's actually and just leave her in peace to live her life and do the what she The only thing that I would say to her, yeah, is did it say in there that she didn't ask no question about what he was doing? And all yeah, yeah, she didn't want to know. She, she didn't want to know the incident. Everything she... Everything now. Why? Yeah. But why, why though? Not? It's not even important. Because no. what did you say? You might have a regret. She might. She might be. That she might be in there, like not really saying it's bunning her. That could be a closure be a for something. That, that might be a line that's not in the in the in the, okay. in the dilemma. Oh, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. So for real. if there is anything in your head that you need the answer to, mm -hmm. you should go and have that conversation because you know what, the clock's obviously ticking a lot quicker than it, it should or or she would like it to be. Mm -hmm. So go and get that out of the way. If after you've had that whole situation out, you think, you know what? Everybody can make mistakes, which everybody can. Then you can start looking on things different for mm -hmm. me. But if I was her, I would just keep her dignity, be the best parent she can, let him be the best dad he can and everything else. Because she's yet to suffer more heartbreak, isn't it? When he That's what I said, does pass, mm. that's more heartbreak for her, isn't it? For her child as well. So... I think it's true what Ona said, like, definitely ask all the questions you need to ask because you need to try and make that peace within yourself as well before anything. Because, like, she says, that if it's obviously but she pass away and she ain't made But no she peace. says she doesn't want to know nothing about it. Like, she doesn't want to... Depends on the type of person you Yeah, are. she don't want to know the, type of the ins and outs. You get me? If that could just, I'm, like I'm saying, that could just be... I don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah, that could, like, it could yeah, yeah, give her the boost to... Do you really want to know? Ask yourself that question and find out. If you don't, then for real, allow it. Because like, really, I'm just saying, it's 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 She doesn't know what she wants to do, but then yeah. you need to know stuff. Because that you take him back and then there's stuff just you don't know. And I, It depends on who you are, I think. Mm. It depends on the type of person you but are. But then if you're going to take him back now and you've not asked the questions, what happens when something pops up into your mind? You're going to now start bringing up stuff but it sounds like she doesn't want to mm. she sounds like she hates him so i think for me the best advice is what chanel said mm -hmm. about you know what you want at yeah. the end of the day because it's not about him it's about and then you the, and the cousin's daughter is just a constant reminder, reminder. like yeah. Yeah. constantly yeah, the the thing is, piece, like, if he wasn't sick would he propose would that even be an option on the table mm for example that, that's what i'm saying would you be even be considering it's almost like a guilt trip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah would you even be considering this whole situation if it wasn't for the fact that he's ill in that kind of respect that's what i mean just make your peace but then do what's in your best interest in that sense because you're the one that's got to live with it, the outcome of whatever you decide at the end of the day and just because he's got cancer doesn't mean he's going anywhere people fight cancer all exactly. the time. It's true oh boy die true you heard it boy <laughs> you know but yeah uh, let's get into bangers of the week so basically week. bangers of the week is just tunes that you uk tunes that you might have heard that okay you think yeah i like this one okay. but you could get criticized if it's whack you get me they might say yo who picked that tune there okay. you don't have no taste can i check can i look my phone yeah, of course, you do your thing. No, I'm terrible. I'm a DJ. I've had to open my phone. And <laughs> well, everyone's around right, to see your bare <laughs> phones out. Like, oh, you get me? Like but yeah, boom. Because there was one. Come on. I don't know. Eh? Hashtag DMD podcast. Hit us up. You get me on the dmdlive.co.uk. Yeah. Let me do my outro, please. Oh, give me one. Right. Well, yeah, catch us on the YouTube, DMD podcast. Ch catch us on the Instagram at DMD podcast. Twitter at DMD podcast. Yeah, send in your dilemmas. Boom. 
they're done now. Cause.